Do you mind if I call you on FaceTime? On the West Coast, so it's late night. I'm on make time, we make time. On make time, we make time. I just wanna see the top with you. I just wanna be in the drop with you. I just wanna spin the black with you. I just wanna spend some nights with you. I got things to do. Talking me plus you. Help! Help! What up, Team Hawk House? Welcome to Beaver Creek. They got a couple of inches of fresh snow and we are going to leave the ski resort. Boundary and going to the backcountry today. I don't recommend doing that without training and proper equipment. And yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a day. I gotta wake my legs up. Oh, we're skiing bumps today, Cody. Oh, you could have way boosted that. Oh, I'm mad. Boosted! This looks neat. Slow, no jumping. Slow, no fun. All right, you see this gate, guys? Don't go through it unless you have avalanche terrain, proper equipment. 98. 97. I'll do the gate check. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. Ah, I said the, it said you don't work. What? <laughs> Well, there's definitely good snow back here. We're right here. It's gonna have some open patches, and then when it gets thick, we wanna go a little left. So we have this map. Is it, which one that? Which one is that? That's Onyx. Onyx. That shows us like the pitches we're rolling into. With avalanches, if you're above or between 30 and 45 degree pitches, that's avalanche terrain. That's when you could trigger an avalanche. If you don't go into that type of terrain, you can't cause an avalanche. Don't go in or under. Or under, yeah. So we just kind of mapped out our route, and we, um, in front of us right now is like 28 to 29, with spots that go like sharp to like 38, which we believe are gonna be like rock faces and drops and stuff. So um, yeah, here we go. You getting naked? Dude, I got hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a scooter for a second. It's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> Rolled right up to the uh, ski resort. Let's hug this and see what it, where it kind of ends and how far we have to walk. Those were good turns. Yeah, I had a pretty good feeling we were gonna ride right into the ski resort. Looks like the end of the resort's right. Oh, look, right here. Okay, I think we found where we want to drop, which is right. Just a little more left looks like this, but better. The moss always points us towards civilization. Why is it pointing to the ground? <laughs> Why is it everywhere? <laughs> I learned it from SpongeBob. All right, SpongeBob, let's do this. There we go. Woohoo!
Uh, I think we gotta start tra trailing, right? There's the boys right there. Dude, all of those look so cool. I think we're back on the resort. <laughs> it's so hot down here. All right, I think we found Ooh. our cat shack back to the lifts. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We lived. Hi, that was neat going over the, out the Grouse Mountain backcountry gate, but we are going to um, go up to the other side of the mountain. We're gonna go like far skiers right of Beaver Creek. And Michael says there's another gate he thinks is gonna be over there. That's gonna be pretty sweet. And we're gonna go check it out. But as we head to this chairlift over here, it's a great time to mention, have you guys signed up for snow summer camp yet? If you wanna be snowboarding in June in Mount Hood with me, five days of riding, all inclusive adult snowboard camp. It's an adult camp, guys. This is for us, you know? Intro to park, intro to carving, jumps, you know, anything, honestly. Like, as long as you can confidently turn down blues and greens, you can come to snowboard camp. And if you think you're too old, you're not. Come to camp. Camp will be linked in the description. Come have the best time ever. We booked like the sickest condo already with its own hot tub and stuff. Like, it's like a good getaway, but you're also gonna get really sick of snowboarding. So, come to camp. These three yahoos all have come to camp. We are in a cloud right now. There are so many people on this run. You sure you want to go that way? I'm pretty sure the cliffs are like right here. Can you come watch me? <laughs> Woo! That was freaking sick! Help! 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 I can breathe. I'm pretty friggin' stuck. I mean, I probably could get by myself, but Ugh. I'll let you know. I just don't want, don't need you to go like to leave me. Well, when Michael's coming down, like the, all the snow is falling on my head. Oh. You got it? Yeah. Okay. No, like all the snow had fallen on me. Yeah. While I was like buried, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. You're like, help. I'm like, oh, who's that? Thanks for coming, Michael. That was a little scary. Tree holes are no joke, especially in places like this that like, have gotten a ton of snow. Well, Mike, thanks for, for taking your board off to save my life, buddy. Yeah, Cody would never have done that. <laughs> Sorry. Burton step on save my life. Woo! That was rowdy. Little moments like that, like, remind you that you could die out here, man. Even like on the resort. Woo. That like help I did to my guy. Seriously, for a second, was like, dude, there's more snow coming on to me, like on top of me. Woo! When I was a kid, I always wanted to be good enough to boost the cat track jumps. I almost died. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Today, sticker shout out. We got Emmanuel with two stickers on the helmet. Looking insane, man. Thank you so much for snagging an Evolution sticker. We have so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there. Even if your style is being a skier, we do have a ski version of all of our merch, which is linked down below. <laughs> The best part is if you do snag any of our merch, it's the easiest way for us to say what up to you guys on the mountain. Yo, little dude, that is a sick sticker. What's up? That's the sickest sticker. What's your name? And if you do snag any of our merch, just tag me on my Instagram. And I'll give you guys gear and sticker shots in the vlogs, but make sure you follow on the Instagram, the TikTok, the YouTube shorts, Snapchat now, and Facebook for all that short form 
insane content. We've been posting so much short form. Everything's going short form, but I believe our long form will live forever still. But yeah, short form's going up. Go check us out on anything that's short form. And uh, I'm really happy I didn't die in that tree hole. That was a moment, but I think we know where we want to go again, but like try and find one of those rocks, rock Probably lines. Good. All right, we saw some pretty awesome drops. I mean, we hit a pretty awesome drop that last go, but we saw some other ones kind of look pillow liney that we want to try and roll up on this time. So yeah, we're exploring Beaver Creek today. It's kind of, it's kind of been pretty fun. <laughs> it is crazy how busy the runs are at Beaver Creek. So like where we've been going, we've been like solo, you know? Found some. Boy, boy. So this way looks really good. But I don't know what over here looks like. Oh. <laughs> ah. You got that. I'm so mad I sat that down. Nice, Cody. Yeah, 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 hit it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Nate, that was sick. And like, don't be bummed to butt check because like, it happens. Dude, that didn't boost me up. <laughs> Dude, this zone of people pick is rad. So mobile. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so mad I fell on that second drop of the day, but it was a small one. Dude, this cat track is so slow right now. Get it, Nate. <laughs> All right, that zone is cool. It got our imagination going, but uh. I think that was it for the day where we got Chipmunk out of here, all the way down to the bottom of Beaver Creek. Jibbin. I don't hit my butt on more things. This is one of the tree lines I used to learn to get good at riding. Wonder if they took out the log jibs. It's like there's one right here. It's buried. What? There's so many more in here. They're just buried. That's crazy. And these rainbows are like normally massive. Ugh. Clearly rusty on my log. On my log jibs. I used to hit log jibs like this all the time. Kind of like semi falling out of style. So this used to be an epic train park. They got rid of it. Super lame. It's so thick down here. We got some thick, thick snow. All right, that was our day at Beaver Creek. I am so thankful I didn't die in a tree well today. 
But with that team up, guys, as always, thank you so much for sharing with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow. The video is daily on this simple channel. We do stuff like this daily.